that's a bit unusual. I've actually found a mermaid's purse with an embryo in. If I can attach that um, down at the uh, low tide mark, just to see if I can give it a chance, because it's full. And as you can see, there is something in there. Right, I'm going to put that somewhere later on. See what else I can find. So, that's a little bag of rubbish. Also, what I've got is, and I think I've only ever found a handful of these. A full mermaid's purse. Basically, this is a bull huss's egg inside, and inside here is an embryo. Right? And if you've not, if you found one of these on the beach before and you found it full, this is what you want to do. So, got my egg. Basically, what you want to do, because this has been washed up, like in the last, well, last 12 hours from the uh, stormy winds. What you want to do, because. Because it's been washed up, of course it's not going to have the chance now, being out of the water, to continue to grow. But you can help. Before the tide comes in, I'm going to anchor this down. Ooh, big wave coming! Whoop. I'm going to anchor this one down in a deep rock pool. Now if you've noticed, it's got something that I can anchor it down with. So I'm going to pick a little spot that I know, even at low tide, will have uh, seawater there. So I'm going to put them in there. We're at the deep rock pool that I know is going to have water uh, here, obviously at high tide and at low tide. That's the important bit. Right, so here we've got a uh, bull huss's egg, which was attached to some seaweed. Now you can see where it was actually attached on the bottom and you can see the strings that actually attached it. What I'm going to do, because it's still got an egg in it, as you can see, or an embryo, I'm going to put it in this... Oh look, while I'm there, it's got friends to greet him as well. So we've got a little hermit crab. Right, the tide's coming in pretty fast here. Right, so what I'm going to do is going to get a couple of rocks, I'm going to anchor it down with the seaweed on it as well. One rock. See if I can get you in a position where you can watch. So I've got the embryo. I'm going to place that bit of seaweed down there, I'm going to anchor that down and in fact what also I'm going to do is going to give it a little bit of extra protection by putting a rock over it, not actually putting it on top but just covering it up.
So the egg is down in there, look. I'm just going to put a, uh, a couple of the smaller rocks on the top. There is a gap underneath, so it ain't actually squashing it. Hopefully now, in there, I'll keep coming and checking on it over the next yeah, but they, those eggs usually take upwards of about anywhere between six to eight months to hatch. But I'll, I'll keep checking on it, whether it'll stay there or not through tide, wind and weather, I don't know. But uh, it's back in the water and it's giving it, giving it a fighting chance. My good deed done for the day. <laughs>